When I first started publishing KDP no content and low content books on Amazon, I didn't have a clue where to start. And in fact, every idea for books that I came up with were purely random. And in fact, it went along the lines of something like this. I think up what I thought at the time was a cool design, like an avocado patterned notebook cover. And I would create the pattern and I would create a line journal, a story journal, a graph paper notebook and publish those onto Amazon. And then I'd think up other designs for different sorts of patterns I could create. And they went along things like a cactus pattern, a unicorn pattern, mermaid pattern, space themed pattern, that type of thing. Something that's not very original at all. You see loads of these types of books on Amazon. And as a result, I hardly made any sales. I made a few here and there, but not enough really to make much of an impact. And it wasn't until about six months later that I started to become more focused and more targeted in the types of books I created. And I did that by doing research on Amazon. And that was niche research to find out the books, the subject areas, the types of books that customers were actually buying so that I could then focus my time on creating these specific books that I knew customers were buying and that there was a hungry audience for them. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in today's video. Go through the basics of niche research to find those areas, those types of books that customers are buying. Now, one of the main problems is you go along to Amazon and you think, well, where do I start? How do I even start to do any research? I mean, Amazon is huge and also a lot of people often wonder, well, what tools do I use to do this? Well, first of all, I've got good news for you on that, in that we don't need any specific tools. What I'm going to show you, you can do for absolutely free of charge, just using Amazon and somewhere to write down your ideas, like a notepad, or as I'm going to show you today, Google Sheets, which is free if you've got a Gmail account. But you could do it in Google Docs, any program like Microsoft Word or Notepad if you've got a Mac, anything at all. You just need somewhere to write down your list of ideas. Now, this video is going to be the first in a series of videos that I'm doing on niche research. And today's video is really for those that are beginners or those that have been creating books. Like I said, it took me about six months to work this out and are not sure how to do proper research, how to find out those books that are selling on Amazon. So first of all, we need to go to the homepage of Amazon.com. And I suggest Amazon.com because that's a US site and that's the biggest market. Out of all the books that I sell, about 80% are sold in the US, about 8% in the UK, 8% in Canada, and the rest, Australia, and the rest of Europe. Those are the main markets. So you want to really do all your research where the biggest market is. And also, I've got a spreadsheet open here, just the first column of niche ideas. Now, I want you to think of niche research as going into a normal physical bookshop or library. Say you wanted to go in there and you were looking for a crime novel. You've got all the books around and you've got the section on crime. So you go to that section. And there, you'd have all different types of crime books, things like murder mysteries, gangsters, organised crime, bank heists, lots of different types of crime books. So you think, OK, I want a murder mystery book. So you look down and then you've got all these other choices. Is it a contemporary murder mystery? Is it a sci-fi murder mystery? Is it a historical murder mystery? So you think, I fancy a historical one. So now you've got that historical murder mystery crime book and that's the same approach that we're going to take on Amazon and we want to start really broad so we want to start in the search box writing in there something that's really just general and broad and I'm going to give you some ideas to get you started could be things like kids books activity books puzzle books coloring books planners diaries journals and log books Log books are huge, and that's where most of the books I create are sold. Not particularly exciting. A lot of people find them dull, but they are relatively easy to create, and they've got this really strong evergreen market. Now, another way to think up some broad ideas is on the home page, top left, click on the best sellers button, then go to books. And down here, we've got some general broad 
categories. And you can narrow this down a bit if you want. Go to children's books and it'll give you some ideas for those initial search terms that you can put into the search bar on the homepage. For this example, we're going to put in kids books. Now you can see here, 100,000 results. That's a huge, broad niche or area or subject type. So all we want to do is scroll down and look for those books that basically aren't written books. And you'll find here, as I suspect, a lot of these will be sort of children's stories, children's short stories and picture books. Well, first of all, we've got this one here that looks a bit interesting and it's a kid's joke book. So what we do, go to where we're going to write down our niche ideas and just write that in. Don't overthink it, just write it in there. This is just an idea gathering stage. Let's carry on further down. Okay, here we've got one, Christmas activity book. So I'm just going to write down activity book. Keep going. Oh, how to draw book goes in the list. Okay, this one looks interesting. A tracing workbook. And let's go to the second page. So we've got coloring book here and color by numbers. Those go onto the list. Now we've got this one here, I spy Halloween. I avoid personally the I spy niche because I think that has a potential for trademark issues. Okay, so we've got a few here to start with. Now what I'm gonna do is pick one of these. I'm gonna pick activity books. I'm gonna create another column and write an activity book. So I'm gonna go to Amazon and put in the search term activity book. Now you can see here, this time, still a lot of search results, but it is a bit less, it's 70,000. But it's a very broad search term once again. So we're gonna look at the different types of activity books we've got on offer. Okay, so we've got this one here, totally awesome mazes and puzzles. Let's put maze book into there. Got Halloween coloring book. Another maze book, connect the dots, hidden picture book, adult activity book. So we've got dinosaur activity book. So here we've got our second list. So what I would do next is then take maze book. Can you see how we're becoming more and more focused? So we'll go to there, put in maze book in the search bar and look, we've got less results. And this one's only got 7,000 results compared to the activity book, which had 70,000 results and compared to the kids book, which had 100,000 results. So again, under this list now, we'd start looking at the different types of maze books. So we've got on here a space theme maze book. We've got one here for particular ages. Mazes for kids four to eight. So what you'll see here is that you'll start to build up lists of niche ideas. And if you do it in a spreadsheet, you'll find that each list becomes more specific, more focused. So now you've got a method by which you can go through a set number of steps to find ideas for books that are selling on Amazon. So you can be more targeted in your approach rather than what I did for the first six months, just create random books and hope they sell. Now, the next challenge is that you're going to have to decide which niche to actually pick in order to create your book and then publish on Amazon. And that's going to be the subject of the second video in this series. I'm going to show you how to decide on which one of those you should choose in order to create a book that has the best chance of selling. And when I've done that video, you'll see the link to it here. If I've not done the video, then YouTube will choose the video for you to watch next. Thank you very much for your time. Make sure you do hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you can receive notification of when that video is been published. Up until then, thank you very much. And until next time, goodbye.